friends, welcome to my channel. It's Amber Michelle. I'm here to tell you all about what's been going on in this pregnancy and update you for my 39th week. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this pregnancy is almost over. I'm actually today, the last day I'm going to be pregnant because I'm being induced in the morning. So Tommy and I have to be at the hospital at 5.30 a.m. And it's a decision um, that my doctor brought up and with the way I had been feeling and with how big the baby is measuring, I decided to go ahead and say, yes, let's do it. I would love for my body to go into labor again. I would love to have that experience. Um, I have had it happen multiple times and I've been induced multiple times. This is baby number eight for us. So I opted for the induction. Uh, there are a few reasons for that. Number one, I know that my doctor is going to deliver and how lucky have I been my entire um, birth giving life. I've had my own doctor deliver my baby every time, which that's to me, I've heard pretty uncommon because you go into labor, you don't know when, if your doctor's going to be on call or not. And so I've had my own doctor deliver all of my babies. So yay for that. Um, in this induction tomorrow, I feel like it's going to go pretty fast because A, I'm already dilated and B, he is so low. Sometimes I feel like I might be giving birth just walking around. So, um, yes, induction tomorrow. I will be at the hospital and I will be giving updates on Instagram and Facebook and then doing his big reveal the reveal of his name and the reveal of his sweet little chubby face. We know he's gonna be fat and he's squished. I don't know what he's gonna look like, but all of our babies have been cute. They haven't all been, you know, like some babies come out and it's kind of scary. But give him a couple of days. Um, Samuel was so bruised when he came out. He came out in one push, my biggest baby. He was nine pounds, six ounces, and I'm thinking this baby is pushing nine pounds. I could be wrong. I could be off a bit. Um, I'm not sure. So if I had to guess today, I would say he's eight and a half pounds, maybe closer to nine pounds. I'm hoping he's not 10 pounds or over. That will be a sight to be seen, but I am not the smallest girl. I wear a size 10 shoe. I am five eight and I'm kind of a big person so um, I don't think I have problems pushing big babies out I've had two big-headed babies too so uh, it, I think I'm gonna be okay all right so let me tell you everything that's been going on since I updated you at my 37 week update pressure pain all the things just increased because this baby is just deciding to grow and grow and grow, which is great because you don't want your baby not to grow. You don't want um, health problems. They said he's really healthy. He looks really good. What else can you ask for? If I had to choose, I would choose uh, between a seven and eight pound baby for multiple reasons. One, um, they fit in newborn size clothes and diapers. They look like a newborn and not a three month old. Uh, two, I had a small baby and she had trouble nursing and that was a challenge. Um, it took her like four days to get a true latch. That was tough and the smaller babies, I felt like, of course I was this almost 20 years ago. No, it's 18 years ago. And I feel like um, I was a new mom and I didn't know what to do and I was stressed out and so, you know that was probably a huge factor but a good hearty baby is going to be great we'll call him a gerber baby and he'll probably have fat cheeks and be just the best thing to kiss and snuggle on and he'll get all the loving i don't know if i'll be able to hold him that's why i love nursing because guess what they always have to come back to mama come back to mama because they you have to take care of them you have to nurse them if not they would Hold the kid all the time. That's what they did with the last ones. They love the babies. I love them too. Obviously. <laughs> okay. So what else has been going on? 
Um, this pregnancy has been super interesting. I've experienced things in this pregnancy that I've never experienced before um, that I talk about that happened in the first trimester. But there has been an ongoing underlying, underlying weakness this whole entire pregnancy. And this has happened multiple pregnancies towards the end. I feel like the baby's taking everything, taking my nutrients, my vitamins. Um, I'm not gaining weight anymore. And I feel like it's taking my energy. So that's normal to get tired at the end, but I don't just feel tired. If I go to the store, I feel weak. I feel like I need to lean on something. So that's been a challenge. Um, I have most of my energy in the morning and then by mid afternoon, it is nap time. And I literally could sit the whole rest of the day until I go to bed at night. So that's not fun. I have a family to take care of and um, we've eaten more takeout than I'd like to admit, but that's life. And I have a lot of grace for myself. I have a lot of grace for the season that we're in. And I am just so excited about the next season. Okay, so another thing that's been going on is weight gain, which I kind of talked about that. Um, I lost a pound at my last appointment. I'm already, like I said, every video at the high end of my weight. So my body probably just has enough fat and is good with it. And the baby's taking stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how much weight I lose. Um, I usually don't lose weight fast at all. When I nurse my babies, I hold on to fat actually. And a lot of times I actually gain weight after. So I'm gonna have to be super careful with my lifestyle, how I eat and maybe how um, active I am because that's when I usually gain my weight. Right now, my face is thinner than it was before I got pregnant and um, my, my clothes still fit from the beginning of pregnancy, maternity clothes. So I'm thinking that um, I'm gonna pass a big baby and all the stuff and we'll see. But I have had babies come out, come home from the hospital and are practically way the same as when I went in. I don't know, it's like a phenomenon, an anomaly. I have no idea how this happens, but that's just how my uh, interesting God-given body works. So, anything else? Uh, blood pressure's been good. It's always high, like I said, when I first walk up, first take it, give me a minute to breathe, take my mask down, and the blood pressure's perfect. Um, so blood pressure's been good. His heart rate has been in the 140s, basically, this entire pregnancy, which I think is cute. It's like, maybe he's chill, maybe not. We'll see. But if it goes how my boys are, he's not gonna be chill. They are all boy, they are hyper, they are boy-esque. And he may just be different. My brother was a super chill boy. He was very shy and quiet. That doesn't really run in our family. Tommy and I are complete extroverts and most of our children are. Um, we can make a lot of noise, that's for sure. I tell the kids all the time, we work hard and we party harder. That's just our philosophy. That's how we do things, how we roll around here. Um, as far as anything else, I uh, haven't had any tests done. My last ultrasound was the 37 week where he was seven pounds. 13 ounces. I said 14 in the video when I watched it back, but uh, I think it was 713 and That can be a pound off up or down This is nuts y'all so I had a big baby for baby number five Samuel was nine pounds six ounces and he was born at 39 weeks and four days he was so big that um, his behind popped out the top of my stomach so that's why a part of me feels like this baby's not as big as him because the top of my stomach is still empty. Um, he could be curled in a really weird position. He kind of has stuck to the same position since about 28 weeks. He has moved multiple times slightly, but he always comes back to the same position. And it was actually the same position Mia Claire was in and she was born um, at 38 and four and she was eight pounds on the dot. And I was in shock because I went from a six, six pound, nine ounce baby to an eight pound baby. But 
Um, I felt like she was more sturdy. Now she had a big head. I did have a second degree diagonal tear that did not need stitches, but was super painful to heal. Um, after baby number three, I had no tearing for Samuel, for Joshua, for Stella. For uh, Magnolia, I had a random tiny tear that um, was in a weird spot too and just needed a couple of stitches. So let's cross our fingers for everything to go well and not need any of that this time. If I do, dermaplast, pad sickles. <laughs> Actually, the nurses will make you a, um, a freezer pack in the hospital that is the ISIS God given to women who have just given birth. Praise the Lord for the ice, for the numbing, and for uh, the epi bottle. Let's just put it that way. So uh, I can't think of anything else for this 39 week update except that this pregnancy is officially over. I'm about to get my last night of rest um, or restless sleep <laughs> before this baby comes. This is what I always look forward to. After the baby's here and we're in our recovery room and I take my first shower and I lean over and I touch my toes. It is the best feeling. I feel so bad for my kids because this entire pregnancy, I feel like the whole, I feel like since basically 20 weeks, it's been hard for me to bend over this pregnancy. Super uncomfortable, a lot of pressure and just not, doesn't feel good it's just not a good feeling so I'm looking forward to being able to pick stuff up off the floor without groaning without waddling without making all the weird sounds and I'm sure my kids are so ready for their mom to be back to normal and not see me waddle or whatever the weird walking that I'm doing now um I'm ready to be back to normal I know Tommy's ready too it's all worth it it's all part of the process I've done it seven times before and I know it's so worth it in the end and you look back and a lot of things you forget. So I'm super excited that I've documented this pregnancy because I won't forget these types of things. Um, the hardest part of this end is, and I don't know if all women experience this, but just knowing that this season with him is over and like the preciousness of him being safe inside and, um, knowing that your body's doing what he needs and oh my gosh i'm a hot hormonal mess it's just that season and as exciting as it is as excited and ready as i am to meet him to see his face to kiss him i kiss my babies probably an illegal amount of times um it's still hard to know that the last nine months that he's grown in my belly and that I've prayed and believed for a precious healthy health healthy a precious healthy baby and he's finally gonna be in my arms but that season is over and you don't know what's gonna happen in life and what things you're gonna go through um, you don't know what the next season I'm about to I have a senior and she's graduating high school this year and how things are gonna change and the way that our um, world is changing does not depict how many kids we have or or you know how we live our life we just really trust and fully depend that what we're doing is God's will for our life and he has made it so clear the direction for us he has ordained every step that we've taken and it is so good to know that you're just walking out God's plan for your life and I just love that I love that Tommy and I are fully surrendered to the Lord and if he says have another baby if he says um, that season is over if he says travel if he, whatever God says is what we want for our life we're gonna do what he has called us to do as a married couple and as a family and I know I'm rambling and crying and I'm just so excited. I'm excited for uh, what God has for the future. I'm excited that he is moving and I feel his love for us like I never have. And I'm getting to know him in a way I never have before. And it's just been a really precious season and um, a hard season all at the same time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, uh, watching me cry, watching me laugh, and watching me be completely out of breath. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying my videos and updates and all the things that are going on in my channel. And get ready to see a lot more because I'm going to be filming this baby and the process of him being born and coming home and all the fun things that come along with a newborn. And um, I just wanna thank you for all the support of friends and family and the people who are uh, supporting my YouTube channel. I appreciate it and I'm excited about the future for it. So I want you guys to never forget whatever you're going through, God is always there. Be blessed and for the last pregnant time, peace.